Hello friends, how are you all doing? Hope you all are fine and in good health and state of mind. Welcome to another tutorial by Query How To. In today's video, I will show you how to add working Kali repositories and fix the slow download speed using a script, a automated script. I repeat, a automated script which will do all these things and you don't have to do anything, just uh, wait and watch till it finishes. So without any further delay, let's get started. So here's the script file that I have written for you. Actually, I'm not a programmer or a coder. I have done some research online and understood some bash script and then I have created this script. This is a bash script. Kali update by QH2. So I will first get it on my guest operating system. So I'll just open the explorer of my Kali, go to desktop. This is where I want to copy it, right? So go to desktop and then just drag and drop from the Windows host to the guest desktop. You can see the script has been copied. So I will just, before closing it, I will open a terminal from this window. This way, we are directly inside the desktop directory. So, I can enlarge this. Go to exclusive mode. So, here we are. Let me increase the size. So, I will first show you how the sources list looks like before running our script, okay? So, leaf pad slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list hit enter and this is what is inside our sources list so we will just close it now i will show you how the resolve dot configuration file looks like because it contains the DNS address. So leaf pad slash etc slash resolve dot conf conf. So this is uh, generated by the network manager and you can see the address is some address. Okay. So this is responsible for the slow download speed. So we used to, we need to use the uh, Google DNS so that it enhances the speed of download. Okay. So, so these processes, for example, I, I have showed you two places, the sources list and the resolve.conf. You have to change these two often whenever you want to update and upgrade to do it fast. Okay. And if you don't add working repositories to sources list, you may get error while you upgrade, update or upgrade. So I have researched online for the working Kali repositories and I have found that uh, two, there are two repositories which works best. Okay. Sunny Dimalu has already used the, these uh, repositories in his videos as well. You can watch his videos as well. So. I won't add it manually, okay? All I will do is I will use this script, I will run it and it will do these things auto automatically, okay? So I'll show you. Type ls. So we have the script here. If uh, you need, you have, you may need to, um, you may, you may need to give permissions to the script file. So to give permissions, write chmod plus x and the script name okay hit enter type ls again it should now be given privileged permissions okay so to run the script all you need to do is write sudo dot slash and the script file name hit enter the script is going to ask you, do you want to add Kali 
repositories, the working Kali repositories, type one if the answer is yes. And if you have already added the working Kali repositories, then to update and upgrade with speed fix, type two. So we haven't added it yet, right? So I will hit one. I will type one and hit enter. So the Kali repositories have been added. So I'll just show you if it did. So leafpad slash etc slash apt slash sources list and you can see we have added the two repositories that I was talking about. So I will just close it. Now to up update and upgrade with speed fix, run the script again. And this time press um, type 2 and hit enter to update and upgrade with speed fix, which is actually adding the Google DNS uh, as name service in our resolve.conf file. So type 2 and hit enter. As you can see, the update process has begun and it may take some time. So just wait and uh, just wait till it finishes. While it's running, I can show you how the resolve.conf looks like. Okay, so I'll open another terminal. And here I will just copy this line. You can see the name service has changed. Okay, so okay. Now we can wait till the process finishes. Just type Y and hit enter to continue. So here we are. Uh, it took some time because when you do this update and upgrade for the first time after a fresh installation, this takes some time because around 550 packages gets updated. So when you are brought to this screen, just press Q to quit. This is just a message, okay? After that, the process will continue and Wireshark will, uh, wire, the configuration for Wireshark will come and it will ask if you, uh, if non-user, non-super user can be able to capture packets. So as I'm the only user, I'll choose yes, you may choose no. Uh, just enter so that the default is kept. So the script has finished updating and uh, updating and upgrading the system. I will do a reboot and see everything is working fine or not. I will open a terminal again and check if the DNS servers has changed. So just type leafpad and slash etc slash result.conf. You can see it has changed after the reboot. So I suggest whenever you do an update and upgrade just run this script and it will change the dns and everything accordingly so that you don't have any problem while updating up and upgrading so i will run the script again so cd desktop ls here is my script sudo dot slash file name enter so enter one to add Kali repo I will not add it because I have already done it and it is not going to change automatically just the speed fix is required so 
I'll just put two. Okay. So type two and hit enter. This time it is not, not going to take that much time. You see, it's finished and everything is working fine. So thank you friends for watching this video. I uh, hope it helped. Do like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. Your subscription really gets me encouraged to bring up more informative videos. Thanks for watching. Good luck.